In the spirit of the political season, it is now time to debate. Our next guests usually do that with topics like the economy, global warming, and whether we should invade Canada. But right now, it's time to talk football. And for that, the debate team. So our campus connection from Wake Forest and Duke for the Blue Devils, Drew and Ryan. For the Deeks, Tom and Sean. The way it's going to work, 30 seconds for the initial argument, 30 seconds for rebuttal. We're talking who has the best football program. We need to know how we're starting, though. For that, we bring on Coach Mike Godfrey for the ceremonial coin flip. Here comes the judge. Here he is. Here's captains, heads, tails. Whoever wins the toss will decide to kick off. Sean, you're going to call it in the air. Tails. Sean, tails it is. You win the toss. You want to kick off or receive? I think we're going to kick off. Kick off the debate. And here we go. 30 seconds on my start. Let's get it on. This is a no-brainer, and the game's going to be all about defense. As long as Wake's defense can keep us in the game, there's no way we're going to lose this. We've only allowed six rushing touchdowns and seven passing touchdowns on the whole season. Duke, on the other hand, has allowed 10 and 9, respectively. Our offense is back against the wall, but we're still 2-2 two two in the ACC. We need to win this game to get back into things. It's at home, and we have an eight-game winning streak against Duke that we're not looking to, we're not looking to lose. All right, Sean, uh, Tom, I think we need to look at the holistic program. Instead of just looking at these petty statistics from this year, let's look at the trajectory of each individual program. They're coming down. Jim Grobe did a great job building them as a, an Orange Bowl team in the 2006 season for the 2007 Orange Bowl, but they've been coming down since then. David Cutcliffe was probably the best hire over the offseason for a new coach at a school, and now Duke is on its way up, having an elite 11 quarterback recruit last year and having a much better recruiting class than Wake Forest for this year. So the statistics, as Ryan will get into, to later we'll show that we'll win this weekend but Duke has a better up and coming program and I think that's pretty obvious. Well like you said Drew I think you're right Jim Grow, one of the best coaches in country Arkansas and Michigan all over him turning down those jobs one of the most highly sought after coaches in the country Duke has only allowed 10 rushing touchdowns and Wake's only allowed six that attributes to our defense in Ch uh, Alfonso Smith the second best cornerback in the country the best inside line linebacker in Aaron Curry and the number four free safety in um, Chip Vaughn, all future league players who can make an impact in this year's NFL draft. And Duke will never recover from the devastating loss of 14 to 13 when we block their uh, field goal kick. Well, the best way to evaluate the strength of a program is who would win in a head-to-head -head matchup. And to do that, you have to look at the statistical analysis. Now, our, we have a comparable defense to their highly touted defense. And offensively, we're superior in every, every possible category. Rushing yards per game, passing yards per game, touchdown, red zone touchdown uh, percentage, better turnover margin. If you look at the schedules, we have one opponent in common, and that's Navy. We went out and beat Navy. The following weekend, Navy went to Wake and beat Wake. Um, essentially, all that Wake has over us is over the past three years, they have more, more total victories. And I hope that's enough when we start running up the score on Saturday. And that does it. That is time for our debate. Little did they know we are playing for the Jim Thorpe Award, usually for the top defensive back in the nation, but in this case, the best argument. Our judge and jury, though, Mike Godfrey, needs to come on board. We need to know who won this thing. Looking for help here. Uh, great debate. The great stats, six rushing TDs, Wake's given up, seven pass touchdowns, eight game winning streak versus Duke. Grove turned down Arkansas and Michigan. I'll bet he's glad he turned them down. Uh, David Cutcliffe, great hire. That was a good point. Recruiting, great uh, Duke beat Navy and uh, a Wake lost to Navy. But I'm going to give the debate award to Wake. Wake Force, I think this is an upset. And for that, guys, you get to take home, well, not really because we actually need this. We've got them laying around, though. But congratulations, Wake Force and Duke joining us through our Campus Connection Initiative. Guys, great job.